Um, how many touches to get to, to generate a sale? What, what's your kind of experience? Um, so it's kind of funny. Um, it depends really what industry you're in, um, especially even what decision maker you're trying to find. Like if it's a CEO, it's going to take more touch points than, you know, finding a marketing coordinator. Um, but what I found in the industry to find someone with true power, um, it's that 14 touches. And it used to be a lot less. This is part of that evolution of sales as well. It's going to take so many more touch points to actually get a hold of someone, right? This isn't to buy a sale or anything. This is just to talk to someone, right? Right. 100%. And we, we usually do uh, this kind of 14 by 14 campaigns uh, where uh, over 14 days, you have 14 touches between you and the prospect. Uh, you, you're, what you're aiming is to find them where they are, right? Where they spend time. Because again, before you even get to a sales development, before you even get to a sequence, you have to do your due diligence. You have to do your data research. And you know that there's a potential. You have a very solid assumption that there's a potential that that prospect can buy from you, right? Um, so you're going to get to that. And that's why these follow-ups are important because, hey, you're, you're, you, you know, when, when I wake up, you're not on my mind, you know, like, I, my, you know, it's, it's just, I, I get hundreds and, you know, thousands of emails. So how do you stay on top of mine? How do you do this properly? We're going to get to that in a sec. Um, types of touch points. What are some of the types of touch points, Tom? What, what, do, you, what do you say? Yeah, so it was great. You were just talking about, you know what, like some people spend their time on different things. Um, so one person might be on LinkedIn, someone might look at their email, someone might not even have a phone, right? Um, so right. All these touch points, how it works is this is like a cadence, right? So mm -hmm. a sequence would go along with this. So let's say on touch one, um, you'll send that email out on day one, right? Um, day uh, touch point two, right? You send them a LinkedIn follow on the same day. Give them a call later that afternoon. Um, day, three, day two comes around, that second email will be automatically sent out right? Give them a call again, right? Then you could obviously read the rest. I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing, but you get the idea. It's multiple touch points at different, um, different sectors, right? So this way, this is going to be your best way to actually get. So, so if you're basically selling to, uh, B2C, if you're sending to, to end users, uh, basically what you want to do, uh, SMS seems to be a big channel. For us who are in B2B selling to other businesses, uh, especially to auto close, we do a very solid combination of email and LinkedIn, and that gives us by far the best results. Mm -hmm.